What's up guys, it's JDogs here, and we're back for another episode of Minecraft here on Spirit, Spiritcraft. And I thought I'd show you guys a place that you haven't seen yet. Um, this is actually my little secretive skeleton farm. Not a lot of people know where this is at, and I'm not really kind of showing it off uh, too much as to the location. But I've got a little fishing pond here where I do some fishing. Uh, my little skeleton spawner that I've got set up. It's not too far from my place, but I've kind of kept it uh, hidden away for specific reasons. Uh, but basically, you flip this switch and they start spawning. You flip this switch and you can clog them off. And then when they're clogged off, you can punch this switch and it'll take them all down to one heart with a lava burst uh, from the dispenser back there. And then you can single hit them or do what I do, and that is use these little splash potions of healing and toss one in there and it'll kill them all at once. Uh, and then I switch to my looting sword so I don't use my looting and I get all kinds of goodies and you can see I've got quite a few different things saved up here pretty good stuff and uh, some of this I use in the shop some of this I'm saving up for other reasons uh, and I've got of course a little brewing stand and anvil and my stuff here these are diamonds <laughs> for those that are wondering these diamonds here are diamonds that are uh, used for spawn for when people need stuff there so, yeah, these aren't my diamonds, they're, they're diamonds for spawn. Uh, but I'm here repairing some tools and stuff like that. And we're going to be back here in a little bit uh, working on a few things. And that's why I've, I'm repairing my tools, because we're going to be doing some digging, uh, getting some areas dug out and situated to where I can start doing some building on the village. And I just thought I'd show you guys what I was doing for a little while down here, using my fishing pole, doing some fishing. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit, and we will be right back. Alright guys, so we're back here at the base, and I want to go ahead and start some work on the village over here. Uh, that's what I want to work on today, and get some of this done. So, over here, I've got two spots carved out already that I went ahead and um, just, you know, took out real quick. And these are the two spots that I'm going to start with for village places. You can see I've got a lot of stuff together here. Um, my main palette, I guess you could say, is going to be a mix of stone brick. Uh, oak and spruce wood so I'm trying to keep the theme of a lot of what I've got got going on around here um, as far as like this here is the uh, the fences and this the spruce wood along with more in the back here um, I've got more fences that I went ahead and got and then you can see here that uh, that's kind of the, the idea through here and everything so I'm trying to keep with that idea uh, over here you can see that I've got the oak on the floor and everything like that. I like the contrast that that gives and so I think I'm going to stick with that for the houses. As far as the style for the houses, I really... That's something that I'm not very good at and I'll admit to that straight up uh, front is that I'm not extremely good at trying to do the style of houses. But what I'm thinking of is uh, spruce and stone brick for the outside and then oak and spruce for the inside. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to go with. I think I'm going to start with this one here. And we're going to start out front, and I'm just going to start placing some blocks here. And hopefully we come out with something that looks halfway decent. Uh, we were going with odd numbers this time for how wide and how deep these are. Now that may change later on, but I just did basic 7x7 seven seven, uh, square holes to start with. And then we're going to figure out where we're going to go from there. So... We're going to have a center here, of course, and something like that. And then I think what we're going to do, I'm thinking um, I want to go ahead and go with panes as far as glass goes. Oh, why did you not place? There. And so we have something like that. Uh, I think across the top here I want to do that. And then just something very simple glass pane, glass pane, that's not too bad, and I, I'm going to put a roof on it, kind of, uh, it's going to just basically be put on the front of this here, and it's not going to really uh, be like a whole roof that comes in, I think, because I don't think it's going to work out right, so that's what we're going to do as far as that goes, let's see, let's go ahead and put a door on since we need one, and I put my doors on this way, that's just the way I like them. 
Some people like them on the outside. I like them on the inside like this. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead and put some lighting because we'll need lighting eventually. And so that's our basic front part of this. Now they're not all going to look the same, but this base part here is pretty much going to look similar on all of them. Uh, but I want each style to look different. And then as far as the roof goes, I think we're going to stick with... Hmm... It's either going to be stone brick for the roof, or it's going to be spruce wood, uh, like planks and stairs and stuff for the roof. I'm actually thinking of going... Let's see. Well, let's, let's get the inside here done real quick. I want to take out the floor. And I think that's going to be oak, as I did like that contrast when we used it on um, the dock. I think that worked out really well. And so I want to use that contrast uh, throughout here. So let's kind of, and you can tell I've got a really nice quick pick going on here. It's efficiency 5, and then with all the buffs I have going on, it's just instant mine, basically. So let's go ahead and get some of this, and we'll place this down. And each place is going to be just a little bit different, and it's going to depend be depending on what kind of villager goes in there. So I think I want to have like a butcher shop. I think I want to have maybe like a library for, for um... Uh, the like paper trade ones and things like that maybe like a little food area for the the guys that want like wheat and things like that oh yeah I like this and then the walls here we're gonna have to take out one more which I wasn't thinking of because uh, we'll need regular walls put in because I don't want it to just be stone on the inside and then of course the roof oh, I took out one too many there let's put that back Boink. okay um, the roof itself, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there either, uh, as far as the inside goes. So let's see here. Let's take some of this out. And I'm trying to do some building on camera for you guys. I know a lot of people say they enjoy when I do some on-camera building, so I'm going to do a little bit here. And then we'll probably cut away and uh, I'll show you guys what we have the next time that we pick back up for the next episode. So let me just get some more of this done. Uh, we got one more to take out there. So the only th bad thing about this speedy pick is it tends to be a little too speedy sometimes. Okay. Now that's going to be a problem, so I think I'm going to have to actually bring this out by one so that we can have it nice and even. Something like that, and then probably something like this. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to flatten our look too much. We'll leave it for now. I, ha I may have to go back and do something else with that. Because that means we'll have to bring this out also. Which we can just kind of terraform that and make it look alright, I think. Uh, there we go. Maybe? Yeah. I don't want it to look too flat on the front here. Uh, I think what's going to give us a lot of our depth is when we go to put the roof on, which probably is going to be very similar to the ones that I have from uh, from my shop and stuff like that because I like the style of it so I think what we're going to do is something like this and then do it well hmm that stone is going to contrast isn't it wow okay pick pick is a little too strong let's go ahead and put that back and let's try the wood instead see how that looks up against it actually I like that a little better um, but I think instead of that we're gonna start hmm oops I want it like upside down here there we go I think I want to start with something like that. And then maybe bring it down. Here, let's just get those two on our bar. Bring it down a little. So something like that. No. Break, break, break. I know I have a pick or an axe. Hmm. Maybe something to where it looks like it wraps around, but it doesn't really. That's not too bad. And then I'm thinking of putting like uh, 
probably some bushes out here to kind of cover up some of the... Because, see, it looks flat, but I like the the look here of this. And then I'm thinking something like this that sticks out on the top. Maybe? And then wrap it in kind of like that. Hmm. No, I don't like it not going all the way to the end. So let's go ahead and take this piece, take that off, and just go ahead and bring it to the end on both sides. Is that going to look right? I don't know. It doesn't feel right. We're going to take that off. I like the initial, what we started with, but I don't like this, uh, what we have going still here. Okay, so let's take that down. We'll leave it like that for a little bit and see what we get come up with. Um, what about something like that? Hmm. No, no. Okay, so this is kind of my process. I, I tend to sit here and just put it there, look at it, no. Put it there, look at it, no. <laughs> so, um, and, and that's how normally I end up doing a lot of my buildings. I, I don't know if that's how a lot of people do it, but that's how I end up doing mine. Let's go in here, uh, go ahead and get our walls put in, so we're going to need more spruce, and... Now, since these are going to be basically right up against the walls, I want something that's going to completely cover it, so I think we're going to go ahead and stick with the stone brick. But we're going to go with a bit of a pattern in here. Um, so I want the... Oops. Why did you place like that? We're going to start the corners where they match up just like that. So I want all four corners to match up with the spruce wood. So we're going to do that, and that, over here we're going to do that, and that. So we got just the basic square room, but I want to give it some depth, and a really easy way to do that that I've found uh, from tips from different people is to use stairs on the inside also. And so we're going to do something like this, going across. Like so, almost done. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and take out the floor underneath. I should have done that beforehand. And come over here, take out this. And take out this one. Alright, so we can go ahead and put our oak back down there. Where's our oak? There's our oak. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, oh. I don't know why I thought there was supposed to be one here. There's not. Alright. So we got that, and... That. Okay. So that's what we're going to do for depth, and then we're going to take this wall... Or actually, I shouldn't have done this too high, I just should have done it one high. Put that back. Because we're actually going to just flip it upside down, I think. Well... Yeah, we're probably just going to flip this upside down and go with something like that. Hmm. Maybe like this? Yeah, let's try that. All the way across. And we're just going to have this recessed piece in the middle. So let's take out this. We're going to have gravel falling. Okay, and then that in. Get over here, take that one out. Okay, and that one's already out. Alright, so let's swap out or inventory. Um, let's get that back, I think. And we're going to run that along the back. Okay. We're getting somewhere slowly but surely. Alright, so that's kind of the inside here. I'm going to be adding um, probably some tables and things to kind of making these like stores. Um, and that's my idea for all of this. I might put a center pillar here to kind of bring it all together and then just have the two sides be like that. Or maybe even some bushes. Uh, I do know I want some bushes here in the corners. I'm a big fan of the bushes. So we're going to put one here. Now did we... 
No, we use spruce for that, I think. Because I like the darker color. Uh, flint, get out of my life. Uh, boom. Okay. So let's see. Spruce, spruce. Bushes. Okay. So we want one there, one there, one there, one there. And then some bushes. And that'll take up our corner spaces, liven it up a little bit. And then some trapdoors. Alright, so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to do here and what what I'm looking for. Not quite, I don't know. Like, I think the hardest part for me is going to be the roof, and I'm probably going to have Smee come over and maybe do a little help with me on that. Um, but I got I got the interior kind of figured out. We're probably going to raise the roof uh, about a block or two just to give it that roof feel, and then we'll probably be done with that too. So... That's what we've got so far. I know it's not much, uh, but I, I like the look. I think the inside turned out pretty nice with that oak and stone uh, combo along with the spruce. So let me know what you guys think. I think that's going to be end of the episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do a little bit of building, seeing what it looks like. Um, if you have any tips or suggestions as to what to do here, feel free to leave them down below. Comments, criticism, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every day of the week, and I stream every Wednesday and Saturday starting at 5 p.m. Central. So I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace out.